This is a COVID-19 alert. I want to alert you to know that you don't have to live in fear of COVID. That's if you take the time to restore your gut health. And in today's topic, gut health, COVID connection alert, I'm going to share with you is striking and new information about COVID-19 that will help solve the riddle of this illness. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. James Christosik, aka Dr. Good Carbs, and I'm Northeast Ohio's leading expert in functional medicine since 1986. And I'm on a mission to help you to restore your gut health so that you can live an independently healthy life and a long life as well. And in just a minute, I'm going to share with you my number one method to help to be able to restore the gut health so you don't want to miss this little pearl. Evidence is mounting. Researchers are finding a strong link between dysbiosis, an imbalance in the microbiome, the bacteria in the gut, and people who get sick with COVID-19. Stool samples of patients with COVID-19 have significantly lowered levels of beneficial bacteria in their gut. Good bacteria like lactobacilli and bifidobacteria that support a strong immune system. Interestingly, scientists have discovered greater than 95% of patients with severe COVID-19 symptoms, well, they had a, a bacteria called Enterococcus facilis, a pathogenic bacteria in their stool. These harmful bacteria can cause endocarditis. It's a serious, life-threatening condition that triggers inflammation around the lining of the heart. Enterococcus facilis is associated with a high level of death rate with individuals who are hospitalized. There's plenty of research to prove that the beneficial bacteria living in the gut can mount a lethal attack against viruses, including viruses and infections of the respiratory tract, the lungs. And individuals who have low levels of the beneficial bacteria in the gut, well, they won't have a strong immune system to attack any virus. And consequently, individuals who have this invading bacteria that um, can actually go unchecked and it will overwhelm the victim and that can even lead to death. Severely sick patients with COVID-19 suffer with with a respiratory distress syndrome with the resulting cytokine storm. Well, this is an acute inflammatory response that's not from the virus, but rather it stems from the victim's own overactive immune system. And researchers and many treating physicians point to the gut microbiome as a major trigger of this inflammation and a likely missing piece of the disease puzzle. Since a large body of the people who've contracted COVID-19 don't have any symptoms, well, researchers highly suspect that the strength of the immune system is the most relevant piece of the, of the, the disease puzzle. Considering 70% of the body's immune system is in the gut, well, it behooves everyone to protect and boost the gut health. Both an overactive and underactive immune system can make a person susceptible to getting sick with COVID-19. Both conditions are triggered by a microbiome that's out of whack. Research is just beginning to surface on the connection between the gut health and COVID-19. Certainly, more research needs to be done. But for now, if you're smart, and you won't wait until the research is conclusive. Conclusive, demonstrating the uh, dysbiosis uh, correlation with COVID-19. Taking action right now can, you know, to heal the gut with diet and lifestyle can certainly improve your gut health and it certainly won't do any harm. So make sure that you do everything possible to restore the integrity of the gut microbiome and of course, your gut health. Make a daily habit of getting sufficient exercise and of course, sleep as well. Practice stress management skills and eat a primarily plant-based diet. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, beans and legumes, nuts and seeds. And of course, fats from cold water wild caught fish like salmon also feed the microbiome. Be sure to include fermented foods in your daily diet along with prebiotics, the food for bacteria to grow and multiply. Prebiotics are found in foods like onions, garlic, asparagus, kiwi, pomegranate, cranberries, and green tea. 
Now for my number one way to restore gut health in the microbiome. A calm and relaxed mindset throughout the day, but especially at mealtime. If you're not happy and in a pleasant environment when you're about to eat anything, then my recommendation is don't eat until you go to your happy place. If you want to know how to find your happy place, then be sure to leave a comment below and click on the link of the comments to watch my three-part series on deep breathing. And if you like this video and you'd like to see more like it, then subscribe to my channel below. Tomorrow, I'll explain how researchers are beginning to uncover the connection between the bacteria in your gut, the microbiome, and the ability to lose weight and to keep it off once and for all. Until then, I'm Dr. James Christosik, aka Dr. Good Carbs, and I promise you that I'll keep probing the research to find natural cures for your health care problems. Until then, ciao for now.